The layout builder in Quasar is incredibly powerful. The way that these layouts work gives you all of the flexibility that you need. But I have to admit that when I first learned about this, I didn't quite understand it. And honestly, it's not until today that I fully understood how it worked. <laughs> I personally used to just click around on these buttons and get the layout to look how I wanted it to look. But I found that with a little bit of extra digging, um, it's actually not that difficult to understand. And here's how I figure it out. First of all, I want you to ignore all of these corner ones here. Okay, so this corner one, this one, ignore them. We're going to focus on the, uh, the top header ones, the right middle, left middle, and the bottom footer ones. Okay, so let's just focus on those ones for now. So you'll notice that they all have a lowercase h, an uppercase h, a lowercase r, an uppercase r. So they're all the same letter, but one is lowercase and one is uppercase. Now, when it's uppercase, I like to think of that as sticking that part onto the screen. So it's almost like uh, if you imagine that the header here is a sticker, when it's a capital, it's like sticking that on the screen. So when I scroll up and down, it's stuck there and it doesn't move. However, if I go to the lowercase h, it's no longer stuck. Notice that it disappears now. So that's how I like to think of it. Lowercase is not stuck to the screen. H is stuck to the screen. And the more official way of saying that is fixed, okay? So uppercase is fixed. Lowercase is not fixed. All right, so let's test this on the right side as well. Upperca uppercase R means it is fixed. So if I scroll up and down, this doesn't move, okay? So look at the content in particular and notice how it doesn't move. However, if I go lowercase r, now it's going to move. And I notice this particularly with the footer. So if we go lowercase f, look what happens to the footer. It disappears, but it hasn't actually disappeared. It's just on the bottom of the screen now because it hasn't been stuck to the screen. All right, so let's stick it to the screen and now it all follows us. So if we set all of these to uppercase, so footer, the right side, the top side, and the left side, if they're all uppercase, notice that as I scroll around, nothing moves at all except for the middle of the page, okay? So that's how I think about these ones here. Now, what about the corner ones, okay? So now let's focus on the corner ones. For the corner ones, this is kind of like saying, I want the right side of the screen to be the right draw, okay? So the right side of the screen will be the right draw. Otherwise, I want the right side of the screen to be the header. Okay, so let me explain that one more time. The lower the R means right side of the screen is the right side draw. And this means right side of the screen is the right side is the header. <laughs> so it's a little bit difficult to wrap your head around, okay? So it's kind of like saying, I want to see the header on the right side, or I want to see the right draw on the right side. Okay, so same here. Um, this means right draw on the right side, and this means the footer will be on the right side. And so it just kind of changes what is prominent there. And it works with these other corners as well. So I want the left side to be the left draw, or I want the left side to be the header. All right, so it's just that little nuance in the language that helps you figure out what all of these mean. All right, and of course, it's the same with the footer down here. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of how the Layout Builder actually works. And once you understand it, you actually don't even need the Layout Builder. You can then come in here and change these letters yourself um, in order to build the layout. And often that's nice because it just makes you feel like you actually understand what's going on and you have a little bit more control over your application. So I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next video.